Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint Debian Edition. Now Linux Mint Debian Edition differs from normal Linux Mint because normal Linux Mint has Ubuntu as a base and Linux Mint Debian Edition has Debian as a base. Now previously I've shown you how to create a USB drive uh, but don't worry if you haven't followed along with that. I am going to include that part of the video in this one as well and I'll show you where to skip to if you've already created it. Um, but this is the complete Linux Mint Debian Edition installation guide. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Microsoft Edge. Now Linux Mint Debian Edition is Linux Mint but instead of using Ubuntu as its base it uses Debian as its base. So open a web browser and go to linuxmint.com forward slash download underscore lmde.php and you'll get to this web page here and the latest version is lmde6 and nicknamed Fay. So all we have to do is click on this download button here and then if you scroll down you should find the country closest to you and click on the link. And Linux Mint Debian Edition will start downloading in the top right corner. So whilst that's downloading, we now need a tool to create the USB drive. And I thought we'd try something different today. Um, I quite often use Etcher, but people have been telling me that to use Rufus. Now I have used Rufus in the past. Uh, Etcher is my preference generally because it's multi-platform. It works on Linux and Windows. But we're going to go to rufus.ie forward slash downloads. And there's multiple versions available. You can download this one here. There's a portable version, an ARM version, 32-bit version. But we're just going to go for this one here. And you can see that's downloaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this down. Now with both those files downloaded, insert a blank USB drive or a USB drive that you don't care about the data on because it will be wiped and then open Windows Explorer. I've already done that and go to the downloads folder. Double click on Rufus. Answer yes uh, to making changes to your device. And then you'll see the device is, should automatically pick up your USB drive. If it isn't, make sure this is the correct drive that you've inserted and not one of your hard drives because it will be overwritten. Then we're going to click the select button here and we're going to choose the LMDE that we downloaded previously. Now at this point you can set persistence and this might work for some distributions uh, such as Ubuntu and Debian. It doesn't work for Linux Mint Debian Edition. I've tried this previously and it doesn't work. Uh, but essentially if you put a persistent partition on there, uh, what happens is when you run from a live USB, you can install applications and files to that USB. And when you reboot those files, we will be persistent for the next time that you run. But I, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work for Linux Mint Debian Edition. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your partition scheme. You can leave that as MBR and you can leave that as BIOS or UEFI. Now the label you can leave the same, the file system you can leave the same and all you're going to do is click start. We're going to leave the recommended option in ISO image mode and we're going to click OK. All data on the device will be destroyed as I mentioned earlier. If you're happy to continue, click OK. And now it will start creating the file system and writing the files to the drive. And you can see it started copying the ISO file across to the drive. Now it's worth noting that if you've got any data on the drive, it will format it first. So you might see extra messages on there first. Um, personally, I formatted the drive before I inserted it. But uh, yeah, you can see it's copying now. OK, so now the USB drive has completed uh, its creation and we can reboot the computer and whichever computer you're putting the USB drive into you'll need to press the relevant function key before it boots into Windows uh, to bring up the boot menu so as it the screen pops up you press the relevant function key in my case it's F7 and then you get into the boot menu and I'll, I'll show you this process now so here we are at the screen and I'm gonna hit the F7 button you can see I've done that and now it's entering the boot menu and now at this screen, I'm just going to pick the USB drive. I've only got one in. And now you can see it says start LMD64. 
we're going to do that and it's now going to boot into LMDE so to install Linux Mint we're going to double click on this install Linux Mint icon here this welcome screen will appear all you have to do is click let's go and then choose your installation language in my case English UK click next then it should automatically pick where you are in the world but if not you can just click on the map or you can choose your region here and then click next and then you choose your keyboard layout again just choose the one for you and the variant click next and then set up a user so in my case I'm going to enter Gary as my name and I call my machine LMDE username is going to be Gary as well create a password and then you can either log in automatically or require my password to log in I always recommend requiring your password to log in and in today's video I'm going to encrypt my home folder and what this means is if somebody uses a live USB to connect to your computer they can't then access your files on your computer if you leave it unencrypted then people can use a live USB and go and see anything on your drive so I've ticked that box and I'm going to click next and then it's asking for the disk I'm going to choose this one here this is the main hard drive and then we're going to click next note that everything on this drive will now be wiped that's okay in this case because I'm going to make Linux Mint Debian Edition my only operating system if you've got Windows and you don't want to lose it then say no to this and back up first um, but if you're sure you want to continue click next and it's going to ask where you want to put Grub. I'm going to leave it as the default and click next. And finally, we're going to click install. It will now start to install Linux Mint Debian Edition to the machine. We'll leave that running for about 15 to 20 minutes. Linux Mint Debian Edition is now installed, and you can just click this button here to restart your computer, and it should boot straight into Linux Mint. Debian edition. You will need to remove your USB drive before the computer boots though. So eventually you'll boot to this screen and all you have to do is click this button here and it should now boot into Linux Mint Debian edition where you'll have to enter your username and password. And here we are in Linux Mint Debian edition. And that is the end of the video. Now you can check out my full guide showing how to completely finish the setup and install the applications you need. It's got 60 steps to it and that will be coming up shortly. And But that is it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.